Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe, and this is a review of one of your own, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, Republics. This one is submitted by Seats. We have 190,000 people to look at. We have a humongous map that's about a third build. Very compact, very nice, very organized. Let's jump right in. Pardon, but there will be a slight lag. We are at 14 FPS and I turned my draw distance down almost all the way, but this is where we are. Everything is trees and farms until you get to the areas that are cool. And these are the areas that are cool. I would think this is the starter area. We're down in the south west corner of the map and everything kind of sprawls out from here. It's actually really nicely organized. It's a little heavy on trees, but that's okay. It's very heavy on rail too, and that's amazing. So uh, we got started with our first area and let's just look at over here we have a nice ginormous harbor with a big tanker sitting there several different uh well harbor buildings that we need and nice and large facilities for pretty much everything which there's never anything wrong with that go bigger or go home that's that's the model right that we should all live by and yeah let's look, look at all the all the ships, the ships are getting built here. We have a rail distribution office. Mod usage, from what I've seen, is not nothing, but it's not super heavy. Like, everything kind of fits and looks and um, just is in the right proportions, which I can very much appreciate. But yeah, look at the harbor. Harbor is pretty. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> so we, here we have a bunch of oil, uh, oil situations set up. We have 2,500 tons storages with a huge refinery and a harbor refinery uh, set up and everything that you need for that. Plus, we have some aggregate storages right next to it. Again, another large harbor area. And then we have a nice little village. Well, village? No, that's a city. That's a city, buddy. It's not a village anymore. That's right connected right next to it. An extra refinery sitting here. Um, honestly, this number is impressive. Just 3% at this scale is pretty amazing because you have more than enough unemployed workers to do whatever you need. Like, there's always someone left over. I say 10%. If you get to this this, this scale, 3% uh, is totally fine. Almost 4,000 people. And uh, keeping that low is really good. And then at 70% happiness, let's look at the quick settings over here so you know I'm not lying. These were the settings when I started. Uh, building fires on normal, honestly, it doesn't make a difference at this stage. Global events, normal, that's fine. Um, vehicles, lock according to start year, that's pretty normal. Then, yeah, realistic mode is just off, everything else is on. So this is pretty fun, pretty successful, pretty awesome. We're not going to let it run because, here, uh, slideshow. Yeah, it's not going to help anyone, right? We're not going to see anything, sorry about that. But trust me, everything is moving and everything is pretty. In the Harbor City, uh, nice use of alignments is what i would call this and then uh, a little bit of detailing with all the trees everything that matters a uh, train goes right through the backyard that's perfect i would love to sit here and that's a humongous train how much do you carry uh 16 to uh, six, 1600 tons of of something that's lovely oh and there's even a waterfront oh, i didn't even see that is this yes there's some tunnelage going on over here and as you can see a lot of uh, passenger traffic going right through there and there's a tunnel for the train so the gradient is not as ridiculous oh this is nice um this is this is really nicely set up and uh we've got some embankments or what are they called quails are they called quails i don't know i'm not english i, I, I can't say i can't speak for that um but everything i i like it <laughs> I, I like what I'm seeing here. This this city is nice. Again, I think it's a little heavy on trees, but that's totally fine. And we'll, we're just going to deal with that, right? Yes. Uh, we have, what do we have over here? We have several iron deposits, and they only fill up when you actually look at them. Uh, so everything is fine, though. We have some nice, these look like the new update wagons. And I love them. <laughs> and I love that these are uh, colored differently and just, have have just a different vibe to it that's that's pretty cool that's pretty uh, pretty nice pretty nicely done uh we have a car dealership of course and we have a lot of parking lots i would love to see the cars just driving around but there's just no good way to do that um nice use of the car parks like we have a big office building here with some car parks there and obviously right next to the office building we have the pub and the soccer stadium this part feels very familiar from Europe. This thing, yep, nice different colored vehicles. That's nice. And uh, the office building right next to it, plus uh, the core of the city uh, in that area as well. And then the, the, the hospital, University Hospital, with a 
helicopter connected to it. All those things feel very realistic. And I've never seen the uh, train depot actually built into the city like this, but I quite like the building look right here. Reminds me of my old Molly. Um, not what you're thinking. There's a steam locomotive one from, it's called the Molly, um, that has a very similar uh, loco shop um, depot sitting right there. We have a bunch of lanterns staring down uh, into the water so people know what's up. Uh huh. That's very, very, very cool. And yeah, no, I like this. I like this. It's so compact. It's so full. It has so much stuff going on. And we have everything that we need. Police station's not overloaded. Uh, the school is not overloaded and has enough people in it. We have a humongous warehouse sitting here. It's actually connected with a forklift garage. Nice. This is, this is nicely organized. I couldn't even tell with all the trees around. So, um, bravo. Nice job. Well done. A nice level bridge over here going right into our interstate system, which is pretty expansive, honestly, if you look at half of this. I mean, there's a roundabout here connecting things that are mostly straight ahead. It looks like we had a couple needs to um, make the roads a little further apart so we can actually connect them, but I, I get it. I, I totally get it. And the fields are all connected via asphalt road, which makes all our trucks that are probably used. Let's see what do we have going on here. This is technical service, um, medium distribution office, yes. And we have, what trucks are we using? Oh, they're not the biggest ones. These are actually some variety in here. That is awesome. Uh, that's really hard to do because once you know which one you like, you don't really want to go away from that uh, that truck. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we looked at that harbor already. So let's get back to our city. A lot of, this now feels more American. Uh, when you fly into Atlanta, you effectively see this right around the airport. There is just a lot of uh, warehouse buildings, large buildings with flat roofs, with a lot of truck areas and truck space around it. A couple trees, uh, lots of railway, like all that stuff. This looks very familiar, but it, it looks so organized. It looks so clean and it looks... Uh, the, the thing that I appreciate, and I, I am terrible at this, is just the variety in vehicles that is... It feels very deliberate. It's just like, okay, this building, this supply office uses just the KMZ 5320 that are red. Uh, over here, we use the 5410s that are orange, um, et cetera, et cetera. You can see what I'm getting at, uh, getting to, right? Then we have the vehicle repair station with just things going on. That's a nice bus, the Volga bus. Okay. Um, this, this bus station, I barely even saw that. I only saw it because it's connected with a footpath. Yeah, otherwise, I wouldn't even have known that that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Got the end station right here, which you can't even see the exit point, which is awesome. Um, and then there are a bunch of little prison buses just going in line and a nice uh, dump truck doing its thing. Um, everything just feels so fitting. This is this is awesome. What do we have here? Uh, oh, is that a real heating plant? I thought it was a trash heating plant, but no, like waste burning facility. There's an incinerator just for regular uh, incineration, not for heat production or power production. Very dangerous to do that. Uh-oh, I see a problem. This one has full waste, um, but I'm sure that's okay. What What is this? The, um, it's the export. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to fix it. I'm, I'm just here to, uh, stare at it and say, awesome. And I like it a lot. Yeah. Over here. What do we have going on? It looks like we have a couple mines right in the crop fields. And these are all bauxite mines. Um, that's nice. Uh, we're nice and full. And this is a perfect opportunity to just have a bunch of trains coming in here and it looks like we are doing exactly that that um well a lot of traffic can happen i would love to give you a train tour sadly that's not going to happen in this republic I'm, well i could kill everyone and that could work <laughs> no that's a little morbid let's not do that um let's move on here is our first metropolis area and look at everything that we can see i'm going to try to turn my um, depth perception on again, just a little bit, so you can hopefully see a little bit more, but it, it will cost us a little bit of the framework, but look at all this. Look at that tower that's just in front of us. Just uh, appreciate the skyline of everything that we can see here. This is an amazing view. Good job, seats. Love it. Okay, <laughs> let's turn it off again so we can actually move around. Um, if you want to, you are more than welcome to stick... Um, stick with this, but we're, we're, we have a video to make, right? Okay, what do we have going on here? Just some industries. Uh, I can see the cement. Yes, uh, this is crops. Okay, then we have 
Uh, another distribution office for the farms. Interesting. They come from right there. Food factory. That makes sense. Uh, booze factory also makes sense because we're going to a bunch of crops sitting here. And then clothing. Yeah, this is just the city city appropriate industries that you should absolutely have near your cities. And look how straight this autobahn is. And it's all one way. Oh, that's nice. And there's some usage of one one lane roads. That's that's pretty nice. You don't see that everywhere anymore. Um, then we have a, a solar power plant, which I believe has no pollution at all. So it makes perfect sense to have it right next to the city, especially in Europe. Now there was a lot of um, subsidies for solar power or renewable energy in general. So a lot of even small villages just started building solar parks uh, or solar farms, I think is what they're called now, just like that. So that's pretty cool right next to the city. I didn't know this until built the first time, but you actually need uh, educated workers to run this thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then yeah, large, large city parts. It looks like everything is working, just judging by these numbers and everything that we're looking at there. And it feels very... Is it Soviet? Um, it's very packed, it's very dense, it's very uh, clearly segregated, like these buildings over here versus these buildings on this side. It's very clear who's supposed to live where, and things are just taken care of. It's always nice to see see these guys, the sewage treatment plants. They kind of fit in role plays really well. Just not in a normal, uh, regular gameplay, just because they take dirty water and put out processed water. Is this a modded one? This is a no, no. It's just it's still just sewage going out. I was hoping there was like an out, uh, but there's not. This is just the normal vanilla one, which is totally fine. Look at everything that goes on underground here. Is there a metro? Yeah, there is a metro running through here, <laughs> and so many underground paths. Uh, okay, I dig it. No pun intended. Uh, but that's pretty cool. We have a ginormous train over here. What do you think the capacity is? Uh, capacity is... Uh, 1,300 people. <laughs> Holy moly. That's uh, that's a lot. Now we have... Uh, this is actually a pretty cool station. It's kind of run down. Uh, I don't know if that's related to wear and tear. No, it's only at 47%. Um, so it's like an old station. And then having these monuments right in front of it feels really uh, kind of attractive in a way. What's this? Crop City Department Store. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is uh, this looks really great. Now at the waterfront, we have a little bit of beach. We have a little bit of parking lot. We have a nice little entertainment district. Uh, we have the uh, University Hospital. Or, well, Medical University, I guess, what that one is called. What is this? At the, it's a, that's a real hospital. That's like a real big university hospital. Why am I keeping using that name? Um, I'm not sure. But everything is here with the waterfront uh, roadway because people are lazy and want to drive there, which they have done, so that's good for them. Uh, a couple of monuments here and there, that's pretty cool. We have a little swimming pool laid out. The, the cities are... look so similar if we look at just the, the skyline, but the details are different and um, they just... you can find new things probably everywhere. Look, this is this is quite awesome. Uh, looks like we have a little uh, construction problem right there, but I'm sure that will be taken care of at some point, uh, potentially. Maybe not, but the, the use of underground tunnels is ex uh, extensive and I am sure very warranted. There's fields in that way, um, if, if, if you want to see. It's just a bunch of fields and trees and fields and trees and trees and fields and fields and trees. Uh, so a lot of that stuff going on right there. Another city over here, nice and organized, mostly the same uh, buildings on the layout, plus a couple special buildings over here with different skins on it, um, and a shopping center that's not overloaded, which is exactly what you want to look for. And more sport. I like the use of the football stadium just in all the different places now that we have it as a regular asset. Um... They're not, they're not perfect, but having them, and especially having them like open areas like this, feels very familiar. This now feels a little bit like Berlin. Uh, Olympiastadion, not, not Olympiastadion, Olympiastützpunkt has a building just like this, and then a bunch of sporting facilities just like this um, on the outside of it. So I get it. I get it. Keenbaum also looks very similar to this, if anyone is familiar with that. Um, it's just left over from the DDR. Uh, from from the good old days, some people may say. 
I didn't really grow up in it. I just was born in it. Um, so what do we have here? Uh, the coal power plant and a, just a nice, nice sized industrial complex right in front of that thing. And I don't, I'm not gonna try to understand how all the workers get to where they're getting because we have cars that are doing their thing. And I'm sure we have a lot of other stuff. We have a bunch of waste collection over here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if trains actually pick up from here after... No, wait. This is the incinerator. It goes somewhere. And then from the incinerator... Oh, is this ash? Is this just supposed to be ash? No, it's construction waste. There's some other stuff in there. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm sure there's a reason for why things are the way they are. Um, and there's probably a distribution office doing something clever with them. What do we have going on over here? We have some prefab panels getting picked up with a nice long train again. That's great. And yeah, a lot of gravel. So many gravel quarries. And I don't know if you know that, but with the new, let's see. With the new automatic gravel quarries, you actually need this many gravel processing plants, which is kind of cool. Kind of fun. Will be another different challenge. Um, hopefully we'll get there relatively soon. Season 9, hint, hint, wink, wink, notch, not more gravel. There's so much gravel going on over here. I don't know. where Where is the source? Oh, these are all the gravel processing plants, too. Those are the old ones uh, that were modded. And we get gravel from here from these modded gravel quarries. That makes sense. And they're all full. Yeah, this is great. And look, even with this many gravel, the gravel farms, uh, we still have more gravel... Um, to process so that's pretty cool they feel like they're pretty close to the city but then again probably not really the city is right here and the gravel processing farms are pretty far away it's what's amazing to me is looking at how densely packed everything is but it doesn't feel densely packed if that makes sense i think it's the trees so the trees have their reason there's a big pond of probably don't swim in this because industry's right there um but it, it feels like this this was planned and organic and um i don't know i like it i do like it uh more road connections for everything that's great we have a roundabout with a um well flyover with another flyover so a three level interchange right here which who doesn't want a three level interchange? I'm very disappointed that the roundabout is not in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's at the bottom, but then again, I also totally get that, um, but very cool. Got the rail running here and then more industries. Just how much industries 190,000 people can actually take care of is quite fun. But I think most of you that have played this game understand how long it takes to get to this stage of the game we're not talking dozens of hours i think we're starting to talk hundreds of hours to build something to this size that's actually functional especially on the higher uh difficulties that is pretty pretty impressive what is this uh another clothing industry so a lot of clothing comes out of this area i'm guessing this is fabric yep we have some fabric ones a large warehouse to make connections a little easier uh that makes perfect sense we have <laughs> a single this, this is always fun. The game is you have a single factory connection to a warehouse that then has 10 other ginormous factories connected to it. Um, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. There's more uh, fabric stuff ha happening over here. I'm assuming you bring in grain. Yep. And we should have more than enough grain uh, available everywhere. So this is quite, quite nice. Look at how many warehouses are just part of this. Planning this thing must have taken a very long time to get it right, and then I don't even want to think about building it if it was built um, manually. It may have been auto-built. That's fine. Uh, it still takes a long time to get there. Over here, we have a lot of distribution, tech service, road, uh, road depot, which means the uh, car factory should not be very far away. We have a couple distribution offices, rail distribution offices over here. We have a bunch of heliports sitting here. We have, oh, <laughs> I would like to see this one actually in action. Um, it looks like there's a there's a train there, but look at that. A little rail yard that's actually being used. Look like they're fanned out really nice and wide. That's exactly what a rail yard is supposed to do. 
obviously this is set up correctly uh, i don't think there's any question about that and then we have these helicopters that i think are probably just there to park just in case we need them for something because they're not connected to any other uh, buildings directly i would like to find where they're coming from though what is this is this a metro metro yard oh yes <laughs> this is great uh i tried that in a season before but this looks wonderful just somewhere in the trees just like okay this is where we're going to keep all our metros um and i wonder if all the metros that are actually being used are about this length that'd be pretty cool that's an interesting helicopter standing right here oh this is the uh, vehicle uh scrapyard and it's full and that mi-10 is going to take a little while to actually take apart but this is pretty cool to look at uh another waste facility over there but i haven't found the vehicle production lines yet and that's what i'm really going for i'm sure i'm missing a couple things but i think we're also looking at a lot of things another big city another large uh solar power plant is actually being utilized 100 that's pretty cool to see uh with a lot of power running pretty much everywhere uh, the coal power plant that we looked at is over there and yeah there's more city over here <laughs> it's just this i mean they're all huge uh looks like oh we have an uh, inner city express running around the br404 for just tourists the tourists get the oh that's the new one that's the that's the new style the more sleek looking uh inner city express uh that's nice then we have a nice inner city and then the regional train right uh next to it and oh tourist city i'm assuming uh hotels yeah waterfront hotels with private beaches with a nice little pier set up over here that looks nice uh, a bus that looks like um it needs to be um at least scraped some rust off uh, but that's cool but yeah we have this nice this nice tourism spot and if you use the long uh, passenger station it makes it a little easier but does not mean it makes it easy uh we got a parking is this an actual parking lot how how is this a parking lot with cars parked like that i need to understand does anyone own this uh, ai city embankment parking 32 yeah this is just an embankment parking oh that's that's really nice i like that look maybe i'll get back to mods at some point uh, i'm not sure about that but the city itself just looks nice again. Looks like we have a couple helicopters, I'm assuming, for potentially police, uh, hospitals, and fire protection, potentially. Um, the city's actually fanned out from right here. So I wonder if there's something in that area that we that we can discern that caused that. I don't see anything besides the uh, national television station, um, which is very well placed, I think. We got some smaller nicer part of town maybe what's our quality of flats here people are 37 percent happy 68 percent uh, quality of flats it is the not nicer part of town because we have the prison sitting right here with a bunch of big monuments right around it which counteract the bad loyalty that they get right here uh, which makes perfect sense and right behind it is probably where they work honestly uh, i see a prison bus going right here um, it's the heating plant, so make sure that everyone is doing what they're supposed to do. I like it. Kind of, like, float into that. And I wouldn't be surprised if the... Oh, it's another prison. <laughs> cool. Uh, didn't know that that one... Yeah, I mean, it's just a mod, but that's fine. But here you go. It's probably where the wardens work, uh, etc., etc. It's just more like barracks than anything else. And it's clearly a different style than the normal city set that we've seen so far, right? So that's pretty cool. What do we have going on over here? Uh, construction offices, which makes me think auto build was not a huge part of this build in general, which is really nice. Um, the aluminum plant, very important. It looks like everything gets shipped in, which is pretty nice. Uh, what do we have going on over here? Uh, probably, well, it's a rail distribution office, that's what this is, and I'm not sure what they're used for, but uh, with the amount of uh, state cars that we have sitting there, I think something pretty cool. Boxside, yeah, we got a nice huge boxside set up right here. Uh, doesn't even fit on my screen without zooming out all the way. Uh, still, we have the double highway. Just commitment to that. That's pretty cool. Uh, more construction industry. We have some cement plants sitting there. Oh, so much industry. It's just ridiculous. Here's another prison, looks like. This one is a penitentiary, though. It's not a prison. The other one was a pen. 
uh, was a prison. <laughs> but that's that's fine. Then just more industries and industries and industries. Industries galore. Where are we? We're not even at the end yet. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's find the next one. Hey, Strakarov. Good to see you. Uh, more trash drop-offs there. More power production here. Uh, another city. Another huge city. And this one is spread out a little thinner. No trees. Not as much tree uh, fol foliage around it. And uh, a church. How'd that get here? Something is different about this one. Or cathedral, however you want to call that. Uh, this city feels a lot more... People just have to come here and work. Let's just build it. And it uh, feels like a worker city. It's just cobbled together with more things. And then over here, it's more the planned side of that uh, same city that we just talked about. Uh, more grains. Grains everywhere. And uh, I know this setup. <laughs> I, I've used that before. Uh, very effective. Um, the rail yard. The, the rail connections just look lovely everywhere. We have another TV station over here with enough people to keep everyone happy. Um, another sewage treatment plant. Uh, another heating plant. Um, all these city and industry supply houses, I think they look really great. And nothing is on a grid grid. Everything is kind of aligned with whatever initial setup uh, was committed to. And I can applaud that. That's pretty great uh steel city east foundries yes this makes sense just a bunch of large industries out here uh with steel with probably iron and coal uh, foundries uh all coal yep coal makes sense because that's the one that you use more then we have some nuclear reactors running over here uh what's this oh there's the vehicle assembly line i uh, got a car coming in very nice mechanical components there. What is this guy? Um, <clears throat> you're missing some water, but what are you doing? You are exporting fabric. Okay, you're just a fabric production. Got it. Uh, but look at all these vehicles that are getting pumped out of that building. It looks like they're getting all sorted into um, the appropriate locations. And there's a lot of them. And look, there's rare connections for everything that someone can pick them up when they have to. Uh, what do we have here? Are those... Trolley buses? No. Regular buses, regular buses, regular buses, more regular buses. And uh, what are these? Buses. <laughs> uh, construction offices and everything else. And more waste. I wonder, I would like to know how the waste actually works. Is it is it doing what it's supposed to do? 50% ash? This is probably just dissipating. Gone, gone with the wind, as they would say. But there's a lot of these. I kind of like it. Um, I haven't used it that way, but I think there is probably a um there's a merit to using it that way anything else what did i miss anything i missed um we haven't looked at anything over here i think so let's make a quick jump and see what we have uh over here more farms 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 and then enrichment this is the nuclear facility all very nice and we have the uh, ginormous npp sitting there with multiple uh cooling towers i don't know if they're all used um, but yes, we have all the nuclear industries sitting right here. They're producing their heart out. And an Atom City makes sense uh, with the other nuclear power plant right there with power lines connected to pretty much everything. Someone actually pulled through and did connect everything, unlike someone else that said they would and then they didn't. Um, how embarrassing for that for the other one. <laughs> um, more tourists, more church, uh, a small beginner's town that existed here. Um, we have some, um, let's call them, what are they called? Small? No, light rail. Yeah, light rail, because these are smaller uh, smaller vehicles. And I do like this, I need to use this, where a bus, tram, and train station is all combined into one thing, so you can actually use a normal transfer station, or don't have to transfer any, uh, any people. Makes life a little easier and more predictable. I, I do like that a lot. Uh, but yeah, another city, <laughs> another city, another large city. Um, there's a lot of just stuff crammed into the area that we that we're looking at because 200,000 people in just a little part of the of the map, like a third of the map, feels like a lot. Um, what do we have here? This is just bauxite, I think. Yep, all of these are bauxite, and then we ship bauxite out, I'm guessing, and to take it somewhere. There are a bunch of waypoints beyond the border. 
uh okay there are reasons for the, them doing the things that they're doing that i don't understand and don't want to understand right now i just wanted to make sure that we don't miss this piece um after that let's go to this little blob up here and uh no we we've seen this blob no we didn't see this blob i saw this blob but you didn't more trash out here i'm not sure if all of this gets um combined but actually it feels like it gets combined because it's the waste treatment facility um, for all the waste that comes in, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a large waste incinerator where all the vehicles just go out here and drop off whatever they feel like dropping off and uh, move on from there. But who knows? Who knows for real? I, I don't know what the full extent is of how all of these are connected, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing because it looks like most of the stuff goes uh, in as hazardous waste. And then these facilities take uh, take that on and then that hazardous waste is just processed further until it becomes uh, construction waste. No, just ash. 100% ash. I haven't seen that, but that's pretty cool to see. Awesome. Um, yeah, there's the city. And there are more long trains because we all love long trains. The last thing that I think we should show you uh, in another large uh, rail distribution setup which is very nice. Last thing I will show you is the nuclear waste facility. Um, it's just a, a stop right next to the NATO border. If they really want it, that's fine. Looks like we're cheating a little bit with our uh, fire trucks and the helicopters that don't need actual workers, but hey, that is totally fine. Uh, and we even have the construction vehicles here to be able to repair um, whatever buildings need some repair done. So that makes perfect sense. So everything's taken care of. And everything is good. Are you actually doing boards? You are exporting boards. That's pretty awesome. That's that's not a resource that often gets exported, but I'm glad to see that it is. So that is this Republic. Thank you very much, Seeds. Uh, really appreciate it. And thank you for sticking with me. I know it took me a very long time to get to this review, but that is 190,000 people crammed into a third of the map with a gazillion industry setups that all look really nice really well thought out really pleasant um and very functional love it thank you for sharing this and if you guys have any other reviews or maps that you want me to fix or take a look at please send it out eh, you may be a little too small every once in a while but overall every map gets a chance i would like to look at it i would like to check it out because most of you probably want to see it so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time Bye bye I didn't realize, but I didn't show you the night view, so here's a little bonus. Um, the Republic at night uh, looks amazing, especially all the cities. I mean, look at all this. It's it's just lit up, and you see the stuff in the background, even in the clouds. That is pretty awesome. Just wanted to make sure that you see this, so bye-bye.